Hey, everybody. Everybody, thanks for coming. Can I be honest with you? I have a gun. I'm just kidding, it's my hand. You know, I wore this just for that joke. Like, I didn't, I didn't need that. Jake, get that. N nobody works your name, Jake. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for coming. It's really important that you came because I don't know if you knew this, but you did not have to. Absolutely did not have to. Like, what could you have been doing today instead of coming here? Watching Source Fed? Well, that's the thing, too. That's, that's the thing, too. This generation is interesting. Uh, speaking of this generation, this generation that we live in is one of the most absurd ever. My name is William Haynes, and you, you're watching people be like. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite people ever in the history of the world is Russell Brand. Any Russell Brand fans here? Oh, I love that man. But you may not be aware that he actually has a YouTube channel where he does the news just like us and gets a little bit more views because he's Russell Brand. Uh, but he speaks very intelligibly and he gets the news out to us uh, dumb folk very well. It's kind of like this. Hello, in the worldwide war that is called austerity, in Ireland now, water protesters are being dragged from their... What did he just say? No, really, what did he just say? I mean, maybe it's my dumb American mind that doesn't understand it, so I downloaded this iTranslator app so I can get it. Let's turn it on just a little bit. Let me just, let's hear it, hear it with that we translation. Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> still not it, still not it. I'm still not understanding it. I'm still a little bit too dumb. Let's turn it on on Max. Let's get it on Max. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you? This just wasn't. I just I just I'm not smart enough. But actually, some of the best things in the world are things you can't understand. Like uh, Taylor Swift has that song about uh, Starbucks lovers. Is that what it is? It's something like that. If it's not that, that's what I want it to be, because I just decided so, because I love Starbucks, and I love loving people. <laughs> S something like that. Speaking of uh, loving people, I have an issue with talking to girls. I like pretty girls. I'm just like, yo, what's up, girl? <laughs> and they're like, nah, but this is very quick, but this is... Uh, <laughs> This is very quick, but this is what it's like for me to talk to a pretty woman that I like. Photo. No. Hi. Okay. Something like that. Uh, speaking of pretty women, to me, one of the most beautiful women in the goddamn world is Emma Watson. God damn. <laughs> Uh, you may have heard that this week Emma Watson was actually in the news for having rumors that she was dating Prince Harry. And I know that's not true because if it was, I'd be dead in the ground of heartbreak right now. <laughs> and also, I have a gun. I'll come at that fool. I don't care if you're royalty. We got Obama. <laughs> What's Obama going to do? Uh, no, uh, don't shoot. Uh, royalty. <laughs> but dad... <laughs> uh, <laughs> but... I know that, like a lot of people, everybody loves Emma Watson. It's almost, almost everybody. But I'd say, you might think that you like Emma Watson more than I do, but I know you don't for two reasons. A, I've been in love with her since the source was stone. And B, I've had a picture of her taped to my chest for an undisclosed <laughs> amount of time. In hindsight, I didn't have to do that. That was an option, and I just did it. Uh, what's, what's an interesting thing about the internet is that right now, you can get money for anything. A couple months ago, a guy got a whole bunch of money for a potato salad. But two guys recently uh, crowdsourced enough money to make a new beehive. It looks like this. It actually comes out of a tap, and it's very safe for the bees, and it's really amazing. But my question is, why would somebody want to be a beekeeper? <laughs> Has anybody ever gone up to their mom and been like, yo, mom? I want to be a bee man. And she was like, let's keep trying for a couple minutes. Let's keep thinking you could be president like your dad. Uh, nah, no, no. Uh, but I know if I was ever uh, a beekeeper, every single day would be like this. That led to Chris Wood's death. What the fuck is that? Shit! I'm dying in this fucking country-ass, fucked-up town. God damn, I'm dying up here! Uh, 
But you may be unaware that this week, Will Smith, who I love, went on the Ellen Show and performed one of his hit songs, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, with so much enthusiasm, with so much love here, it's like this. In West Philadelphia. <laughs> Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all. Well, come on, man. Like, you know, if you're gonna go on stage to perform a song, maybe you should do half of it. <laughs> Maybe, but my favorite part about this performance is this woman right here. I've never been that excited for anything. <laughs> nah, I actually have. No, actually, no. Usually when I'm at things, I'm kind of just like, I'm here. <laughs> I don't know, people get too excited for things. But uh, if Will doesn't want to be the Fresh Prince anymore, that's cool. Because, I mean, he's done so many things since then. He's been in Independence Day, Men's in Black 1, Men's in Black 2, Boys in the Hood. That movie where uh, him and his kids are the last two homeless people on earth? It's called Seven Pounds, Seven Pounds. But if he doesn't want to be the Fresh Prince anymore, I know a guy that can do it. Me. Yeah, this is a story all about how I like to take a minute and just sit right there. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool while. Now a couple of guys, they had some guns. Got in one little fight, my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with the... There's a cab. Lights in place at Fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I could see... I don't want to be a Fresh Prince anymore. I don't want to be a Fresh Prince anymore. I, don't, I just, I can't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be a Fresh Prince anymore. <laughs>